Hello, you right. Okay, welcome to the next part of our angles work. What you'll need to do is keep pausing this video, drawing the shapes, listening, playing, and so on. Okay, it's not a very long one, though you've got some questions to do. <clears throat> We're moving on to exterior angles today. So, last week was interior angles, which are quite tricky because depending on what shape it is, the number keeps changing. So, a pentagon added up to 540 degrees and a hexagon added up to 720 degrees. A few of you struggled on that and probably worth you going over it again, okay? But this is exterior angles. And by exterior, we mean on the outside of the shape, okay? But what it doesn't mean, and this is what a lot of people get confused about, it doesn't mean the angle all the way around there. That's not what an exterior angle is. You can't actually see the exterior angles until you do a little bit more drawing. And what I say it looks like, it looks like a Catherine wheel, the thing you see on fireworks night. So what you need to do, look, from each corner of the shape, just keep going in a straight line. So that one goes up there. The next one will come down here. Move this down a little bit. The next one would point downwards down here. They've all got to go the same direction, you see. This one would go over here. And the last one would point up there. And now you can see the exterior angles. They're the ones that we've just made. Okay, you'll need to pause the video and draw this in your books. So these red ones I'm drawing in now, these are the exterior angles. Okay, so red is exterior angles. And the ones on the inside, the ones we worked with last week. So these ones in blue, these are the interior angles. All right, so make sure that goes in your book. You can use colors if you want. So the most important thing, you can't see the exterior angles until you put like the extension lines on and then they sort of appear then in the gap that you created. Okay, so that's what an exterior angle is. Now there's only two rules to, to remember to, uh, today for exterior angles. And they are, the exterior angles always add up to 360 and it doesn't matter what the shape is. So for all polygons, whether it's a triangle, um, a parallelogram, a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, decagon, doesn't matter. They always add up to 360. So that will make it a lot easier than the interior angles work we did last week where the number kept changing. Okay. And the other rule that comes in handy for exterior angles is one you've known since year seven, which is that angles on a straight line always add up to 180. So in other words, well, let's get a proper line. If I put a little picture like that, look, that red one and the blue one next to it, they add up to 180. So if I go back a slide, look, you can see that rule. On every corner, we've got an interior and an exterior next to each other and they make 180 degrees because they're just two angles on a straight line okay so make sure you get all this in your book as we go along so exterior angles always add up to 360 angles on a straight line always add up to 180 okay so if we have a look at this question here I can work out what the exterior angle is because I know what the interior one is. So here's my interior angle of 120. So if I use the 180 degree rule, I can work this exterior out. This red one would be 180, take away 120, that would be 60 degrees. Okay. Now, this is what we call a regular hexagon. Okay, where all of the sides are equal and all of the angles are equal. So I can copy that all the way around. So 120 there, 120 there, there, and there, and there. And if you just double check, they will add up to 720, which is right. For a hexagon, that's right. They do add up to 720. Now if I put on all the outside ones, 60 there, 60 there. 60 there, 60 there, and lastly 60 there, and 6 times 60 is 360. So the exterior angles add up to 360, 
and the interior angles add up to 720. And when I've got an interior and an exterior next to each other, they add up to 180 because of angles on a straight line. Okay, let's have a look at a question. So this is a pentagon. Okay, it's got five sides, it's got five angles. And if you remember from last week, the interior angles of a pentagon add up to 540. So we can use that later to check our answers. Okay, so how do we find the missing angles in green? Well, most of them are paired up with an exterior angle. So if I wanted to find this one here next to the 110, I would use the 180 degree rule. So 180 take away 110 is 70 degrees. 70 degrees. You'll need to draw this in your book. It doesn't need to be accurate. It just needs to have the right number of sides and roughly look like mine. If I move up onto this corner, I know the interior this time, but I don't know the exterior, but I can still use the 180 degree rule. So 180 degrees, take away 140 degrees, leaves me with 40 degrees for this one on the outside, the exterior. Okay. That one there, I got 50 on the outside. So 180, take away 50, leaves me with 30 degrees. Oh, sorry, 130 degrees. Then we've got 100 on the interior, so 180 take away 100, I'm just using the same rule over and over again, so that's 80 degrees, and then I've got 80 on the outside, so 180 take away 80, that leaves me with 100 degrees on the inside, okay, and now I know every single angle, interior and exterior, if you add up the interior angles, you can use a calculator for this, they will add up to 540 degrees. Okay, so yeah, tick for that, they do. And if we add up the exterior angles, so that's 110 plus 40 plus 50 plus 80 plus another 80, so the ones on the outside, they add up to 360 degrees. Okay, remember I said that they always add up to 360 on the outside for every polygon. Okay, one more example. Okay, this time I don't have any of the interior angles. And the first thing I want to work out is this green one over here. So if you pause the video and get that drawn okay it's a hexagon it's got six sides again it doesn't need to be measured out it doesn't need to be exactly like mine but if you can have the right number of sides and roughly look in the same that will help so for a hexagon well probably the easiest rule to use is that exterior angles equal 360 because i've got lots of exterior angles here so we've got a 50, we've got a 50, so 50 and 50, we've got a 30, we've got a 100, and we've got a 60. So if we add those up, it comes to 290 degrees, okay, which means our missing exterior angle Take it away from 360, our missing exterior angle must be 70 degrees. Okay, so that's really simple. Exterior angles always add up to 360. So I added up the five that I've got and I found the missing one by taking away. Now if I want to, I can find all the interior ones. So this is just using the 180 rule, look. So it'll be 130, that one will be 130. This one will be 150, that one will be 80, this one's 120, this one's 110. Add them up and it comes to 720, which is right because if you look back to last week's work, the interior angles of a hexagon add up to 720. Now what I want you to do is to open up the worksheet and have a go at the questions which are very similar to these. So you're either using the 180 rule, that's if you know the outside and you wanna work out the inside or vice versa, or using the 360 degree rule, 
which says that if you add up all of the exterior angles, you should get 360 degrees. Any problems, send me a message.